Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to my personal top 10 co-op PC games that are out right now. Now, these are my favorites, and it probably won't be a list that jives with yours. But maybe, just maybe, you'll find some titles that you haven't played before. So grab a buddy, sit down, and game on. Number 10, Fortified. Fortified is a tower defense third-person strategy shooter where players defend Earth against the menacing Martian invasion inside what feels like a 1950s comic book. Characters like a secret government agent, a space cowboy, a jetpack rocking pilot, and my personal favorite, the heroic captain. For player co-op fun, I did a spotlight on this not too long ago. You can watch an actual like hour-long gameplay session in the link below. Number nine, Orcs Must Die. If you're gonna talk about third-person tower defense games, you gotta talk about Orcs Must Die. It's two-player co-op, where you can set up all kinds of traps and doohickeys to kill orcs in massive waves. It is literally the quintessential tower defense title. Number eight, Warframe. Okay, fine, this was an easy one and kind of a lazy pick. This is the only free-to-play title on the list, and I've been playing it on and off going back to the Early Access original release first-person space ninja action with a disgusting amount of customization for your character. This title is one of the few games that could be called a poster child for how to handle early access development. It's good, and it just keeps getting better. Number seven, Dungeon Defenders. One of the best tower defense titles, well, ever. What sets it apart for me is that just a great selection of different classes that change how you play the game. I love my summoner. He completely changes how you look at the game. Basically, it turns it into a real-time strategy title while everyone else is playing a third-person action game. Yeah, it's awesome. Number six, Supreme Commander. Now, this will be the only traditional RTS on the list that's cooperative in the let's play skirmish against the AI Comstomp way. Supreme Commander was a spiritual successor to the classic Total Annihilation and one of the funnest AI Comstomp titles the maps and unit sizes are off the scale, allowing for crazy battles. It doesn't hurt that the AI also spreads like the damn plague. Number five, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. I could have put on here the new Tom Clancy title, The Division, but honestly, I've had more fun in the past playing Vegas 2. With an entire cooperative campaign, bullets actually feel powerful and deadly, the customization is decent, and the sub-game type terrorist hunt is a fun diversion. Definitely a title worth repelling into. My number four, Diablo 2. I can't believe it. This month, Diablo 2 had an update. Like, look at the posting of this video. Yeah, Diablo 2. Like, five years later, it has an update. It, the update basically makes it so it works on newer systems. So why not put Diablo 3 on this list? Well, for one, nostalgia. And honestly, I've always thought the classes in Diablo 2, like the Necromancer, were far more interesting characters. And skill customization was really more interesting. I mean, you could do some fun things with those characters, and they were permanent decisions. Also, the world spaces felt darker and more atmospheric. Maybe that's just the nostalgia talking, though. You guys let me know in the comments below. Number three, Dawn of War 2. One of the few real-time strategy titles outside of like that one Command and Conquer Red Alert title that has a fully cooperative campaign. If you like Warhammer and have a buddy that also enjoys it, this is the strategy game to get. You can play as the Orcs, you can play as the Imperial Guard, the Space Marines, you can play as all these different uh, races, and you can do so through the entire campaign. Sure, it kind of screws with the story because they had to make every cutscene work with every race, but overall, completely enjoyable title campaign with customizable hero characters from beginning to end with a buddy. Awesome. Number two, Sins of a Solar Empire. I always have to say it like that because that's how the intro guy always says it. Hands down, one of the best 4X strategy games ever made. It's real time, by the way, with a massive list of mods that can change the game into just about every science fiction franchise you can think of. Hell, there are two major Star Trek mods, multiple Star Wars total conversions. The list goes on and on. There's a Halo mod. It helps that the game is actually still supported by the developers and keeps getting patches. My fondest memories of it, four player co-op against the Borg in Star Trek Armada. Resistance is futile. So what's my number one? Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. The only RPG that was built from the ground up to be truly co-op experience. It has a story that is told with both characters in mind. 
Talking with NPCs can cause conversations to come up between your characters that you and your friend are actually playing and requiring you to interact with dialogue options to choose from. Combat is reminiscent of a co-op medieval fantasy XCOM with environmental effects that'll actually change how you handle combat scenarios. And if you own the original Divinity, Original Sin, you can get the enhanced version for free, which comes with 100% voice acted dialogue throughout the entire game, fixing the only real complaint I had on the original release. It's fantastic. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this top 10, let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite cooperative game? I know I left off a bunch of really easy answers like uh, the Borderlands series. You can throw in games like Arma because there's a lot of cooperative missions you can play through. I left on all the console games like Halo 2. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare had a cool cooperative like game type you could play. Guns of Icarus, Pulsar. There are so many good co-op games out there. But that's my list. Let me in the comments below what your favorite game is, and I will see you in the next video.